So now we have the XML to pass into our component. How do we actually add our component to the root? So let's go back to our application. So here is um, my demo folder. And you will see that um, there is a folder in here called views. Grills. So here's your basic application. Go to the Grills app. And then there's a folder here called views. Within views, there's this file called index.xml. And this is going to be your root application. This is going to be, uh, if you go to localhost 8080, this is the file that you're going to see. Fair enough. If I go to the Cool Iris website, it tells me exactly what I need. It gives me kind of all the SWF components that I need to deploy. So all I would do is then is I would copy this object element and I would paste it into the index.gsp file. You can also paste it into the individual directories. So for example, if I wanted it to go into views index, I would just create a new file here, index.gsp, and I would paste the SWF component inside of here. If I have any other files that need to go in here, um, I would just paste it into web app and then add the file. So let's assume that I gone to the Cool Iris website, I taken the sample code, I have come in here and I pasted it. The next thing that I need to do is I need to change the reference um, of the Cool Iris website to point to my feed now. now the sample that queries gives you points to this Flickr feed. Um, if I go into my index.gsp, you'll see that in my feed parameter, I am pointing to my application. Now, um, if you're running this locally, you just type in H feed equals HTTP localhost 8080 um, book list and you would have kind of your parameter. But in here, I am going to call um, my, my Google App Engine feed. So what happens now if I go to localhost 8080? It tells me that I'm almost there, but I need to add this file. It says, in order to allow us to read your feed, you need a cross-domain XML file at the root of your web server. Now, this is based on the Flash authentication model. Um, what this does is you have a bunch of cross-domain XML files that specify here are the security parameters and here's everything that you need. That's great. So I'm going to copy this to my clipboard. Um, as you can see, it has a line here that says, allow me the access from star.colaris um, in order to run my application. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to go to my web application. I'm going to go to the web app directory, and I'm just going to create this cross-domain.xml file. I'm going to paste that in. I'm going to deploy it to my web server. So in order for me to deploy this to the Google App Engine, because this is obviously running locally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the, my config directory. I'm going to open config.groovy. I'm going to add in this parameter at the bottom, google.appengine.email. I'm going to give it my email. And then google.appengine.password. I'm going to give it a password. The next step here then is just to deploy it. So here, um, the command for that is Grails app engine deploy. And that's going to fire it off. It's going to upload your application. Um, it takes a little bit of time for the first time you do it. And um, then you should be able to go to your application and just um, be able to see it almost. Um, one thing that you might need to do because um, the name of the application is obviously taken by me is you need to add google.appengine.application 
and then you give it a name so application equals this is my app name in case your application name is different or you're downloading from github you're downloading this cut from git this code from github um, so once i've done that i can come in here and i can see kind of everything here is being built and everything looks fine 